this is the very handsome star of the movie Something from Tiffany's. Take a look. You know what I was thinking about earlier today? What? The book you're going to write. Oh, I, I hope I write it. What do you mean you hope? It's a lot of procrastination mixed in with self-loathing. I've got a great therapist. You just got to go for it. I can't wait to be walking by a bookstore one day and see it in the window. <laughs> I like that. I can't see anyone but you. I love, I love this song. OK. <laughs> Kendrick Sampson. Do you remember when we first met? Yo, yes. Actually, funny enough, because something from Tiffany's, like, the third main character in uh -huh. this is New York City. And my first time in New York City, I went to see Color Purple. Really? Yeah, I yeah, love that. Was, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we met backstage, and I got to meet Cynthia and yeah. everybody, and Danielle, yeah. and y'all were incredible. Aww. And that was my first time on Broadway. Wow. Yeah, my first Broadway play. Nice. OK, well, we got to talk about you in the Dale's video. Let's just get to the point. Talk to me about that. Well, you know. Tell me about that day. I had a little, good, a little bit of a good time. You, you had know? a good time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they built on, um, you know, Paramount Lot in Hollywood. They built uh -huh. this, like, lazy river fantasy thing. And, yes. You know, I got to give a little <laughs> preview of the album album hadn't been out yet. Yes. Um, so she got to sing this song to me, a cappella. I didn't even know what it was. I drink wine, and the, the water was warm. It was cold at night, uh -huh. so I was grateful for that warm water. I stayed in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, cut, I'm staying right here. Bless y'all. I ain't getting out of this water. But it was incredible. I mean, I got to be sang to by Adele. Adele, I mean, it doesn't get any better than that, right? <laughs> OK, now talk to me about real life. People want to know, are you single? Hell yeah. Uh-oh, he said. Of course, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Does that mean they want to know, are you looking for someone? <sighs> <laughs> I thought I'd throw that in there for you ladies. Not actively, well, anyway. but you not know. Not actively? Yeah, not actively, okay. but... Somebody hollered something. Oh, yeah. Now, don't get beside y'all. Uh-oh, look at her. She said, me <laughs> over here. <laughs> I like that. You know, I like to dance and have a good time. I ain't looking for him. Ain't, ain't. I'm trying to go on vacation for the holidays. For the right? holidays yeah, and have yeah, yourself yeah. a good time. Yeah, okay, yeah. tell everyone about the movie Something from Tiffany's. Explain. Yeah, Explain it's a uh, rom-com, a holiday rom-com. It's pretty uh, classic. It has a lot of classic feels of the rom-com, but it turns a little bit on its head, you know? Mm. It gives you some surprises, yeah. um, and they... You know, Ethan, my character, goes to buy this engagement ring, and then the rings get swapped. Oh. Uh, the presents get swapped, and, you know, trouble ensues. <laughs> we have yes. some. So, you know, what would you do if your ring got swapped out, or your very expensive gift that you were gonna propose with right. uh, got swapped out, and you got some, some little earrings instead? Some earrings? I'll take the earrings too now. Okay, so, <laughs> but it seems to be a movie about faith. Are you someone that lives, like, by faith and faith? Um, I live by purpose. I and live purpose. by purpose. I believe, I don't believe in coincidences necessarily. I do, I, I say what's meant to be will be all the time. I, agree I, I don't that. ever know if I really truly understand what that means, but what I do believe is that everything is purposed and that I should have a good purpose, a good intention in the things that I do. Uh, that's very well said. Very well said. Now, Insecure, that was a great show. Do you miss it? I miss everybody. I can imagine. I miss everybody. It, was, it just I seemed mean, like a community vibe. Yeah, it was a bit of a dream to work with all these incredible black creatives and, you know, in a place that I, I that my second home is L.A. I grew up in South L.A. and South L.A. hasn't been, you know, now, now don't get me, don't get, get it twisted. I grew up in H-Town and in Mo City, but, I, you know, I moved to L.A. when I was 18, so, and I moved with my mama, so it was like, I grew up in South L.A., and it didn't get the respect. Inglewood doesn't get the respect it deserves. Ladera Heights, you know, Baldwin. So it was a dream to be able to work in that environment and to get to celebrate that area and see people hired from that area. Right. Although I'm mad, I didn't get to work on it while I was living here. Uh, <laughs> you can always go back. Okay, you're an amazing activist. Tell everyone what you're passionate about. 
I'm passionate about bringing about a better world for the people that we know we love. You know, the, my people, my black folks, indigenous folks. Um, I have 24, I always say I got 24 nep nephews and nieces wow. and I can't, I always imagine, I wake up, I do my best to meditate and envision a better world for them and I fight for that world. And every day I know that that world, that my, my imagination has been stifled by the things that we, the culture that we grow up in, societal pressures and oppression. And so I do my best to free my mind, free my imagination every day and imagine an even more liberated world for my nephews and nieces. And I fight for that, fight against state violence, anything that's gonna attack them. Wow. Yeah. Once again, well said. Thank you for stopping by. Will you come back? Of course. I we will. enjoyed you here. You're amazing. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel and turn on that notification bell so you're the first to see our latest videos.